Hello lovelies, what's up? I am back today with another video for you guys and this video is going to be a fall treats video. I am extremely excited to film this or I was extremely excited to film it because this video is something unlike any of the other videos I've ever done and I'm super excited for it. It was a little different, a little challenging for me and so tell me what you think. If you like the way that I did it or if you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. But yeah, so um, I'm just going to sit here and drink this beautiful little thing right here which is a hot chocolate that I made in the video so if you guys are gonna make any of these treats I definitely definitely suggest that you guys make this one right here it's the easiest and oh my gosh are you gonna be obsessed so without further ado let's get on into it All right guys, to start this recipe off, we're gonna start off with one and three sixteenths cup of flour, two tablespoons of the baking powder. Then we're going in with three fourths cup of sugar. After, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple twists of this sea salt, followed by one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half of a teaspoon of the ground nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of the ground cloves, and then we're just gonna mix all that together and put that aside. All right guys, now that we have done our dry, we're going to do our wet ingredients. We're gonna do half a cup of this 100% pure pumpkin, followed by 1 4 cup of milk, and 1 4 cup of unsalted butter. Next, we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of the vanilla extract, and we're gonna mix all that together. After, we're gonna go ahead and mix in the dry and the wet ingredients. Now this next part, it just kind of looked a little weird to me in the beginning, so I was going to show you guys how it looked in the beginning when I was first starting to just um, mix it all together. And then I'm going to show you a clip of how it looks after I worked into it a little bit more. So I was kind of skeptical in the beginning, but this is the outcome. I didn't add any other ingredients, it was just everything that I showed you. And now we are going to go ahead and get ready to place that into our baking dish. I just went ahead and squished it down a little bit, that way it covered the bottom of the baking dish. We're going to put that aside and now we're just going to make the topping of it. So we're going to use a half a cup of the sugar. We're going to use half a cup of brown sugar. Some chopped pecans. And we're going to mix, mix, mix. And this is just what we're going to lay over top of this um, cobbler. Just breaking down some of the sugar. Alright guys, now we're just going to pour that all on top. And that's what it should look like. Now this next part is optional, but I went ahead and put a bigger baking dish underneath it just in case it spills over because it will rise quite a bit. Next we're going to go in with um, a full cup of hot water and I went ahead and microwave this water for like a minute and a half and then you're going to bake. The baking instructions are going to be below, but this is how it should look. Now this part is totally optional, but I completely fell in love with the way it tasted together. I went ahead and put a couple scoops of vanilla bean ice cream on top, and then I drizzled caramel sauce and put a couple pecans, and oh my gosh, was it amazing. It was like heaven in my... Alright guys, for this recipe you're going to need two cups of milk. You are going to need one cup of the Ghirardelli um, chocolate chips. These are my favorite. These taste so bomb. Then you're going to need half a teaspoon of oh, vanilla extract. And then you're going to need one cup, which is about half of this, of whipping cream. Whip, 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 whipping cream. And then you're going to need one fourth cup of the caramel sauce. You can use the little caramels or whatever. Um, I just went the lazy way and got caramel sauce. And then Cool Whip just, well Cool Whip's just for like a topping. Just to be bougie. And then you're just going to go ahead and, like I said, the instructions for this is down below, are down below. But um, this is your result and it tastes so bomb. Oh. 
All right guys, so starting off this recipe, you're just going to take a little bit of parchment paper. Now, this is a full can of the crescent rolls. I'm just super scared of them and didn't even think, I was so overwhelmed by that pop that it makes. I just totally destroyed it before I showed you guys. And now don't make the mistake that I did. I don't know why I'd never maybe done these crescent rolls by myself, that my mother's help or something, but I totally messed up half of it. So I'm only gonna do half of it. I'm still gonna give you guys the full instructions on it as if you were doing the whole crescent roll. So you're gonna get one cup of this 100% pumpkin pure. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and put that all over it, kind of like a sandwich. Um, generally, if you're doing the whole thing, you're, only, you're gonna put it on two pieces and then you will get the other two pieces that don't have the pumpkin on it and then put that on top. But I just decided to go with the flow. <laughs> and now I am once again going with the flow and just sprinkling a little bit of the pumpkin spice. And I am putting some melted butter on top. And sprinkling more of the pumpkin spice. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get the pizza cutter and we're going to put it on like little slices. It doesn't matter, this part's really just up to you and your preference, but I just decided to make a couple little slices. Guys, I will link everything down below, like where I got this recipe and everything, if you guys can't follow me, because I am just, like I said, winging this. So now you're just going to lift each piece and twist. And I'm going to sprinkle once again with pumpkin pie spice. This is in the instructions, but I'm just going with the flow by like the amount that I'm putting on it. And so you're sprinkling and we're sprinkling and we're sprinkling. And then you're going to put this on a baking sheet and pop that in the oven. Now, for this next part, you're going to need one fourth cup of butter, and this is softened butter and one fourth cup of softened cream cheese. And then you're just going to use like a mixer and you're gonna mix that up. And then you're going to slowly add one cup of powdered sugar and continue to mix and mix and mix and mix. And then you're gonna add one half a cup or one half teaspoon of the vanilla extract to that. And this is what it should look like. Oh, how nice. And then you guys are gonna put that inside of a Ziploc bag and cut off the tip of the Ziploc bag and then start putting it on the crescent rolls. Oh, these crescent rolls are already out of the oven, BTW, by the way. But now you're just going to decorate and plate. Yum. And then you guys can always put some of that extra um, topping that we made in the middle. That way you guys can dip it and it'll be delicious and amazing and people will love you.